Like my nervous system is affected by all this construction happening in this town. And when I was in Los Angeles, you hear the sirens because LA love sirens, you know, helicopters over your head, flying around, police sirens, fire truck sirens, constantly, here is construction. Yeah, your nervous system gets affected, but that has nothing to do with being awakened, being enlightened. Or if somebody jumps at you and barks at you and starts yelling at you that you're an asshole or you're, you're an idiot or something, of course you are affected by it. If you get into an argument with your partner or your dad, your mom, your kids, you get affected, you know? You're in this heated argument, maybe for an hour or two, you're shaking. That has nothing to do with being awakened with enlightenment. That's your nervous system getting affected. That doesn't mean you're not awake. Any questions? Anybody? No. Anybody's here for the first time? Do we have a first timer? No, yes, no. You can either write to me on the chat box or you can unmute yourself and talk to me or ask me your question or share with me what you feel like sharing. Don't, don't be shy. How's it going, Candace? It's going very well, and I just would like to say that um, the life training program gave me the freedom of all of those things that you listed. Yeah, so I'm very grateful and appreciative. Uh, you're welcome. I had a great time with you. It was a wonderful three months, four months that we were working together. I loved it. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> huh? I did too. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the feeling is mutual. And I have to say, I'm so proud of you and I'm really happy to see this glow on your face and see how happy you are and, and of your accomplishment. You, you did so well. Thank you. It yeah. was just awesome. Yeah, you, you, you nailed it. You got it. I have to say, you, <laughs> you got it. So, yeah, yeah. So it's just life changing, really. Yeah, life changing all the time. It's always going to go from one thing to another. So, and you just watch it. <laughs> You stay, you stay detached and you watch it and it does its dance. Right now we're having this dance. I mean, imagine if you were in Europe and it's 1938 and you're living in Poland or you're in Germany or you're in France or you're, you're in Czech Republic, Czechoslovakia, it was that what it was before. And, uh, and all of a sudden the Nazi party is taken over 
and war is there and you know pretty much all over europe you have war that was a weird time it was dark it was a very very weird and dark time in human history so and now we have this thing going on and this too will pass you just watch it you stay in this place you remain the observer and not getting involved with the story the story dances you know this is a dance the lila the lila of existence shiva shiva is dancing and mara mara is the when buddha got enlightened and he was sitting under the bodhi tree and he was very still at the very end before he becomes enlightened mara comes and it comes in a form of all these beautiful naked women five beautiful naked women they appear in front of buddha and they're you know they're dancing they're just giving him want to give him grapes they want to give him a glass of wine they want to pull him in and the buddha remains really still he's just like not buying into it and these five beautiful naked women represented the five senses there is a there is a movie was made in i think 1996 it's called the little buddha i really recommend it that you watch it it is a hollywood movie okay i understand that but don't worry about the Hollywood part of it. There's a part that it's a uh, blonde, seven, eight year old American boy that is, there are these uh, Buddhist, uh, really high Buddhist priest that one of them is in America and he finds, they're looking for the reincarnation of the Buddha, for example, or the next Dalai Lama. That's the theme of the movie. So this high uh, Buddhist priest, he's looking for the next incarnation of the Buddha. And he finds this American boy, blonde, blonde boy, very American with, baseball hat but the hollywood had to create something that americans can relate to it and then they find the the soul of the buddha came back in in the body of three boys one american and two one from nepal and one from india so instead of being in one body it was in three different bodies but there's a part of it in this movie is there's a narrative that someone is telling a story. It's a storytelling. And the story is about how Buddha got enlightened. Now, this is the part I love. So be with me and pay attention to this part. The scene goes into the Buddha. He is sitting under the Bodhi tree, you know, and you know he's in complete, you know, he's in complete meditation. He's very still, really still. He's just sitting there, 